Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video guys, we're going to be changing up a little bit, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about Overwatch, and specifically, how to play Genji properly after patch. Because if you guys did not know, when the Overwatch game was first released, Genji was OP, and he got a pretty big nerf. He is still really good if you know how to use him, but he is not as good as he used to be. So I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to master Genji, you can say. I'm going to be giving you guys a complete complete guide on this so if you go on to enjoy my overwatch videos make sure you leave a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed yet make sure you go along and do that as well but let's get into this right now so my first tip with genji is to target the more offensive players and defensive players except for may obviously but you don't want to be targeting tanks especially like tanks with heals on them and you can actually even tank uh go after bastion but if he has a May, i mean not a may if he has a mercy on him just constantly healing him you don't want to be going for that bastion because you're not going to get him even if you deflect all those bullets may, uh, mercy will probably uh just, just heal him all the way back up and you'll not be good you want to be going for the mercy first or maybe even just stay away from him, maybe sneak up behind, get rid of the mercy, but you don't want to be uh, attacking after players like Roadhog, who counters him really well, Winston, because you can't even deflect Winston's uh, laser gun or whatever, so um, you can't actually deflect their bullets, which is just not good, because you're going to get absolutely wrecked by them, so you want to stay away from May because she'll just freeze you, and uh, her uh, little ice spray gun goes straight through your deflection, so you want to stay away from her, just make sure you're playing smart when you're playing Genji, and you make sure you're going for the players that you can actually get because Genji has a lot of people that he can counter and a lot of people that counter him so just remember guys just tr try and stay away from tanks as much as you can because most likely you get wrecked by Reinhardt, Roadhogs and all of them just try and stay away from them if possible and try and go for the offensive players and that is my first tip my friends so another one of my tips is that Genji is a flanker. You don't want to be in the front lines with all your tanks on your team and just firing away and trying to deflect bullets in the front line. You want to be flanking them. You want to be going around, getting behind them, popping your ult behind them and wrecking them from behind. You don't want to be coming up in front of them and just, just whacking them with that because you're most likely going to be killed, let's be honest right now. So you're going to want to come up behind them, start shooting them there. And he remember, he's a flanker and he is a ninja. So he is meant to be moving really well. He's meant to be doing a whole bunch of stuff and you just got to remember guys that you want to be flanking you don't want to be right up 1v1 people you want to be coming up behind them and then throwing your stars at them and uh, yeah that's another one of my tips so another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was his triple spray dead ahead and also his spray that goes outwards. So what I tend to do when I play Genji is I use a uh, close range. I use the spray that goes straight at them as it's most likely going to hit them. But if there is like uh, they're at a pretty far range, I still use that as well. But if there is like more than like one of them, uh, you want to just use your triple spread bullet. And what's this going to do is that's going to like hit each of the characters. So just say there's like a Reaper, a uh, Roadhog and maybe like someone else there maybe like a defensive character such as road uh junk rat i should say um you just come on and spread out your bows and the more you do that it's just going to get damage on all the players and it's just going to be more beneficial for you so that's what i tend to do but usually i use the triple burst straight ahead um if i'm going one-on-one -on -one, but i tend to use the triple spread at uh far range and like when there's more than about one player there so that's just another tip with that as well and with the shurikens that he actually throws, you want to make sure that you are getting everyone on target because Genji doesn't do that much damage per second. But if you get all of your, um, I'm just going to call them bullets. I can't say shurikens. I think they're, they're called something like that. But um, you just want to throw throw up um, them. Uh, I, don't, I can't say it. Okay, but I'm just going to call them bullets. Okay, everyone in the comment section, just don't get up me. For, for calling them bullets, but what you just want to do, just spread them out, you want to make sure you're getting every single one of them on target, because if you're not, you're just wasting, wasting your chances, and you're not going to be doing that much damage per second, and you're going to want to be maximizing that as much as you can. Alright guys, so the last tip for this tutorial is to make sure that you're using everything that he has to offer. So you're going to want to be moving around, doing the double jumps as soon as possible. You're going to want to be uh, going towards him with the little slide thing. You're going to want to be mallying because a big thing with Genji is you're going to want to get as many shots or as many damage as you can to one person at a time. So what is a good tactic is to get up behind someone or even if you're in front of them, just encounter someone. 
get a few uh, triple shots on them straight ahead, get some damage down, and when they start uh, noticing that you're actually there, you're going to want to deflect their shots and then strike at them and knife them and do all that stuff. And once you've done all of that, then that should take a, a fair bit of damage, and that is basically what you want to do. So once you've done the little stride, then you're just going to want to knife him straight off of that. And um, the knife actually gets cancelled by the stride, so if you're right up in their face, you can knife them and then stride right through them, and it's just going to be a lot better. And that's how you're going to maximize your damage, and you got when you're on the payload or anything, you're going to want to be jumping around, going all the way around that payload. Because you want to be going to be using your double jumps as much as possible. Because he only has 200 health, and that's that's pretty low. That's pretty low. Yeah, I know he's only an offense, but you're going to want to be making sure that you're very hard to kill. Which is a lot of reasons why bad Genjis and good Genjis. That's how that splits them up. If they're jumping around, moving away from the enemies, you're a good Genji. If you're not, you're just standing there trying to take them on with your triple burst or your little shurikens. Then you're going to be you're going to be screwed, all right? So you need to make sure that you are maximizing um, your damage, and you want to be jumping around everywhere and making it hard for you to die but anyway guys that'll end off my video if you did go on to enjoy it make sure you leave it a thumbs up and if you want more guides like i have i'm a pretty good reaper and i'm also a pretty good um Zarya, so if you want to know how, like, how to do them characters as well just tell me in the comment section of the video guys but anyway i'll see you all in the next one peace out